hi students welcome back today we are going to learn a new poem from our course book name of the poem is the way through the wood module 1 at the end of the class you will be able to identify the elements of mystery that comprise the poem appreciate how the mood is built in the poem familiarize students with open ended poems let me first introduce the author of this poem joseph rudyard clipping joseph rudyard clipping was an english journalist short story writer poet and novelist let's see more about rudyard clipping he was born 13th december 1865 bombay during british period in india died on 18th january 1936 at the age of 17 london england his resting place is known as poet corner wedminster abbey london he was an english journalist short story writer poet and novelist his nationality is british he have written short stories novels children literature poetry travel literature science fictions he was awarded with nobel award for literature in 1907 He is most well known for writing the novel Jungle Book. In 1894, as well as for short stories such as The Man Who Would Be a King, Ricky Tikki Tavi, Tuck of Pooks Hill, just so stories. Whenever you hear the name Rudyard Clipping, the first book come to your mind will be jungle book i hope you all have watched the movie or cartoon jungle book so his novels are familiar with you because you have learned it in the lower classes now let's see more about our poem the way through the woods written by joseph rudyard clipping The way through the woods is a poem that is filled with mystery. It describes a path through the woods that is now overgrown with grass and shrubs. But it also suggests that there is something in the wood that still follows the route. where the old path used to be however the speaker never really makes it clear as to what is truly happening in the wood before moving on to the poem let me ask a question how would you feel if you were to pass through a dense forest alone at night would you fear only wild animal or anything else too now we can read this poem which describe the poet's memories from the past when a road existed in the deep dense wood and the change that has taken place there over years we can see that the poem consists of two stanzas let's move on to the poem They shot the road through the woods 70 years ago weather and rain have undone it again and now you would never know there was once a road through the woods before they planted the trees it is underneath the coppice and heath and the thin anemones only the keeper sees that where the ring dove broods and the badgers roll at ease There was once a road through the woods. Yet, if you enter the woods of a summer evening late, 
When the night air cools and the trout-ringed pools, Where the otter whistles his mate, They fear not men in the woods, Because they see so few. You will hear the beat of a horse's feet, And the swish of a skirt in the dew, Steadily cantering through the misty solitudes, As though they perfectly knew The old lost road through the woods. But there is no road through the woods. Now, my dear students, we can look to the summary of the poem by Stanza Wise. Okay, uh, let's read the stanza once again. They shut the road through the woods 70 years ago. Weather and rain have undone it again. And now you would never know there was once a road through the woods. Before they planted the trees, it's underneath the copies and heath, and the thin anemones only the keepers sees. That where the ring dog broods and the badgers roll at ease. There was once a road through the woods. We can see that in the first stanza, they shut the road through the woods 70 years ago. The road through the woods was shut 70 years ago. That means a lifetime. It was shut for a lifetime. Weather and rain have undone it again. And now you would never know there was once a road through the woods because of the uh, heavy rain over the years and the weather and the rain have erased the path showing no sign of a road has later. Uh, you can see that there was once a road through the woods before they plant the trees. Trees had been planted in that area. This road now lies hidden under the leveled land and the anemones. It is underneath the coppers and heath and the thin anemones. Only the keeper sees that were the ring dog brood. Here keeper means uh, the nature itself. Only the keeper of the wood that means the nature only knows where is a ring dog is making its nest and uh, the badgers roll at its. Badgers is a type of animal which is carnivorous. No one other than the caretaker knows that there was a road once upon a time in that place. He sees birds and animals like the ring dove and badgers relaxing there. The speaker uh, also says that he or repeat that there was once a road through the woods. Now we can move on to the next stanza. Yet if you enter the woods, of a summer evening late, when the night air cools on the trot ringed pools, where the otter whistles his mate, they fear not men in the woods because they see so few. You will hear the beat of a horse's feet and the swish of a skirt in the dew, steadily cantering through the musty solitudes, as though they perfectly knew the old low's road through the woods, but there is no road through the woods. We can see that the poet is telling like this, if you enter the woods on a late summer evening, where the air over the trot filled pools turned cool, and where the otter calls out his Mate, the animal live a carefree life here as they do not see many humans around and hence do not feel threatened. You will be able to hear the slow and steady movement of a horse passing by as well as the rustling of a skirt. The steady sound of the movement could clearly tell that the horse and the rider knew the road well, but there is no visible road through the woods. Here the poets wants to tell us 
what happens if one enter the woods on a summer evening late one could slip into this area that is seemingly off limit while no one is watching the air would be cooling off for the day and the animal would be relaxed has possible one might even be able to hear the otter whistle to attract its mate we can see that the animal have no reason to fear man has uh, they there are not uh, human beings passing through the area now if the road still existed this would not be the case if one entered into the wood at this time there might even be detectable sound of horse feet beating on the ground they move without hesitation and without need for a path in the final lines uh, the speaker increases the mystic elements of the space by describing how the horse seem to know perfectly the old lost road through the woods he concludes with the line but there is no road through the wood it has vanished so completely he could not prove to another if ever it existed that's all about the poem now let's listen to the poetic device here today we are going to talk about alliterations you know alliterations is a repetition of same sound in a same uh, sentence or a same line here we can see uh, a few alliterated words here let's see what is it here the beat of a horse swish of a skirt add has to they we can see that alliterated words are used in the poem to make it more interesting and uh, in order to make the lines more beautiful so students that's all for today hope you all understood today's class read the poem once again thank you students thank you for listening have a nice day bye